In this tip and trick video, I would like to teach you the concept of selection cycling. I have three lines on the screen with three different colors. I'll move the second and third line in such a way that it coincides with the first line. So I'll click on the move command and I'll select the second line and I'll click this as the base point and this as a second point. And now these two lines are coinciding. I'll just right click and repeat the move command and I'll select the third line and I'll select this as the base point and this as a second point. Now these three lines are coinciding. Now I would like to take a copy of the red line. You know that the red line is lying underneath. So if I try copy command and if I just click on that, I'll be selecting the most recently drawn one, which is the yellow line like this. Now I'll just escape to cancel the copy command and I'll just undo the copy. Now I would like to select that particular uh, red line which is lying underneath. In such a situation, you can just activate the selection cycling. This option is available in the status bar. I'll just change the representation of icons in the status bar from icons to abbreviated descriptions. For that, just right click at the status bar and just disable use icons option. Now you have SC, a button called SC. This is nothing but selection cycling. The selection cycling can be turned on and off either by clicking on this button or by using the key combination Control W. So I'll just click on selection cycling to activate it. Now I'll try copy once again and I'll take the cursor onto this line. Now you will see two overlapping squares which is an indication that the software has identified more than one objects in the location of the pick box. So I'll just click over there. Now you will see the number of objects which are lying in the location of the pick box along with the colors. Now you can select any desired line simply by moving the cursor on the corresponding object. When I take the cursor over here, the green line is highlighted. When I take the cursor corresponding to the red line, that is highlighted. Now just give a click there. Now you have selected the red line. Right click and you select this as a base point and this as a second point. Now you have successfully copied the red line. So this is a handy trick which will help you in selecting and managing coincident objects. Hope you will use the simple but useful trick.